This is before and after shots of the console I took apart and redid to put back in the truck. Hope you like it. All right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to reskin this. This was this the material I took off of the console before I cut it all up and changed the size. I'm going to put it back on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it, fold over the edges, staple it, cut it, and I'm just brushing the glue on. I don't have a spray gun, so you know there's another way you can do it. And it's a pretty big shop, so it's well ventilated. I'm not going to worry about the glue getting me. I'm also getting on the edges here where it's going to wrap around. Put some glue on there. Probably a million ways of doing this. And this is my way. It works for me. And I'm okay with it. You know, things might not be perfect when you do it yourself. It might come out better than other people doing it for you. But it's, uh, A lot more satisfying when you do it yourself. So if you notice, I did half of it, laid it down. I mean, this stuff will pull back up a little bit. It's not like a lot of the other glues. Um, once you put it down, you can't move it. You can move this a little bit until it dries. But, uh, so you got some time with it. It's not going to stick and be stuck first time. Which is good. It gives you a little bit of working time. But you really want it, you don't want to put it on when it's wet. And if you do put it on, pull it back off. Get those uh, little fibers going and that will help it stick when you put it back. But you really want it somewhat dry when it goes down. And it sticks better. So, you know, first time doing this, just take your time. You're going to glue it down. It's going to stick. You'll be good. Get the edges where you're going to nail it. You want it to stick there, too. Now, I'm not a professional at these uh, pieces. But this piece is not a hard piece to do. So, well worth the challenge. If it doesn't work, you just peel it off and do it again. Right. Make sure you get throwaway brushes if you're going to do this because once you use them, they ain't worth the good. They ain't worth the nothing once they're used. So now I'm going to staple it. I'll cut, I'll cut the excess off later. Working around the a curve here, so I'm putting in, cutting in, and I don't think you guys can see this. I'm 
my these type of shapes so I can pull it down and it will can go around the curve. You can usually tell where you got to cut because it will fold over and basically you cut that fold out. And you're going to pull it tight while you go, and that's what gives it that nice look. I came in, she wanted to talk to me, I had to pause the uh, video, um, but I did finish stapling this side down, so I got it nice and smooth, still working on some of the areas, but uh, it's getting there, so I'm going to clean up the bottom a little bit, but that is it, that's what it's going to look like on this side, so I'll give you a view. That's kind of kind of it, and I'm gonna finish up the other side. You guys gonna need to see both sides and clean that up a little bit. All right, all right. So I'm almost done with the console. Kind of show it to you. So got to work on this piece that goes right here. I didn't get it in yet. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, delivered tomorrow. It's a piece of mylar that you can heat and uh, it might be plastic, but you can heat it, mold it. So I'm going to mold it around this edge, this edge, and then come down here. And I'll wrap that in white. So the middle here is all going to be white. Well, this matches the seat. And uh, it's going to fit my application a lot better because I didn't want that big. The other one that was in here was twice as fat. Uh, it was twice as long. And it's not what I wanted. So I cut that piece up, trying to use, reuse everything I can. Why throw it away? Why destroy it if you can reuse it? So I reused the skins. I just bought the white uh, fake leather. Reused the skin that was on the old console. Rebuilt it and came out pretty nice I mean it's not a five thousand dollar job but it's gonna fit my needs and gives a little area for storage and it'll look nice a couple cup holders a couple US uh, USB ports a lighter port and an on off switch is gonna go in here so almost done See how that goes and uh, get to the next step. But center console has been made. I just got to finish right here. I'll finish the video once 
I get this piece in. So I mold this piece. I'll show you how I do it. Just using a heat gun and usually a piece of pipe uh, for the edge. But coming along. This is it. All right. So I'm making the uh, template for this piece here. I'll transfer it to it. What I'm going to do right now is just put a couple of pieces of tape because it's moving on me. If I have this edge right, what I'm doing on this side is rubbing with this, the edge, so I'll know where to cut. Probably an easier way of doing this, but this is the only way I know how to do this. There's actually a spot up here where I'm, I don't have enough paper. So I'm just going to add some tape. I'm going to see if I can just cut it. Stop moving around, I'd be pretty good. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to tape it on that and cut that. I'll probably cut it a little large. So now that I got my template, Basically, I'm going to transfer it onto here. So, I'm going to cut that out, and then I'll uh, come back. I'm going to heat these spots to put the bends in it, and then it should be good. So, I'm going to pause it. Cut it and I'll be back. Alright, so I went and cut it. Right now I'm going to try and heat this piece up. It's the first time I use this stuff, so I do not know if this is going to be success or not, but it should be. Really, I want to make sure that this guy here is right first. Yeah, and I could use a piece of pipe or something. But right now, I don't know how this stuff is going to react. They say it's heat. You know, I'm taking a little bit. But I'm going to have to really heat this up. I just don't want it. to get too hot and melt. It is kind of hot, so that's why I'm using a piece of wood. cool thing about this stuff, you heat it up and it wants to go back to the way it was. So I just slightly overbent that. And there we go. Close. Now that I got this bent, I don't know if you can see it. This guy here is pulled away. And just a little heat. I don't know if you saw that, it laid it right back down.
So that's real close. I still got to do some trimming, and I'm going to bend this part right here. But what I'll do is when I'm done getting this piece the way I want it, got to trim it a little bit. I am going to uh, put some of this white fake leather or vinyl on it, and then I'll cut out the holes and these holes here. This guy, picture it white, covered, a couple of holes in there, and I'll be done. I got one more bend to do. I'll go cut the holes. You don't have to see me cut the holes. I just wanted to show you that you can use this. First time I use this, this is more of a plastic. A lot of times I use vinyl or you know, other things like that or, you know, uh, plexiglass and stuff and that stuff bends this stuff if you get it too hot it just like melts it's, you know i guess it's thin and uh you just got to be careful with it what it's really used for is for a press fit of a mold you can heat it up put it in between two pieces and press it together to make a mold out of it and i decided to try it for this usage i think it's going to work okay now I got to uh, cut the holes in here. Where I'm going to do that is, looks like a drill bit, but it's actually a uh, hole cutting bit. And about this harbor freight tool is it keeps losing the bit I'm gonna have to get my Dremel so I gotta keep digging the bit out ah. switch to the Dremel This is the piece that goes in here. I wanted to check the fit, and it's all fitting good. And it's going to be my uh, USB port and cigarette lighter or, or adapter port. I got to cut two holes in here. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it's going to work, but I want to try and cut this hole a little bit smaller than that. So I'm going to originally cut a hole in here put some tape on here use it as a bearing and see if I can cut around that and leave a gap I have no clue if it's going to work but I'm going to try it doing is uh, putting some tape on here and building up an edge it might just blow this tape off I don't know but I'm hoping it's going to give me an edge enough to uh, make the hole slightly smaller
Well, see if it's gonna work or not. Slightly small. So, there it is. All the cutouts are made. They came out pretty good. Kind of easy when you get one of these. They look like a drill bit, but it's actually a whole cutting bit that you can put on your Dremel. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go skin this guy after I clean it up, clean up the edges a little bit. I'm going to skin it with the white fake leather I got. This stuff right here. And uh, I'll be back. All right, this is a close-up of the finished product. This here is for the power ports. That's how it came out. See, it's got a two USB 3.0s right in here, and it's also got a voltage readout. Right here is a power port on-off switch. Two cup holders, large. And I'll show you what he did on the side. What he did in the inside, I was going to make this all white uh, with the uh, this uh, fake leather. My wife said, nah, too much. So I put the black mylar in and glued it in and made a really good lining for it. Huh? Door hinge. Real stable, <laughs> big, right? So, that is it. Finished product, that's gonna be the center console. Well, have a great one, bye.